Have you ever heard of parkour or free running? Parkour is basically an athletic training discipline in which practitioners, called tracteurs, attempt to get from point A to point B in the most fluid way possible. With routes in military obstacle course training and martial course, parkour includes activities like running, climbing, swinging, vaulting, jumping, plyometrics, rolling, and quadrupedal movements. Whatever is suitable for the given situation. It is an activity that can be practiced alone or with others, and is usually carried out in urban spaces, though it can be done anywhere. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will converse about the birth of parkour and freerunning. Have you ever wondered from where the word parkour derived? Let's dive into the history of parkour. Parkour, a made-up word, cousin of the French parsours, which means root, is a quasi-commando system of leaps, vaults, rolls, and landings designed to help a person avoid or surmount whatever lies in his path, a vocabulary that is to be employed in finding one's way among obstacles. Parkour goes over walls, not around them. It takes stair rails, not the stairs. It is no less than an adventure to experience. The parkour adventure began in France in the 1990s in Lys and Evry, in the outskirts of Paris. David Bell originally developed the parkour concept according to the precepts about the art of movement laid down by his father, who was a Parisian firefighter, who died in the year 1999. As teenagers, Bell and his friends from Yamakaze Group practiced jumping and climbing over stairs, barriers, walls, and other fixtures in the city. Doing so, he made up what they called the art of moving, taking advantage of all the constructions and obstacles that were not originally created for this purpose. For them, parkour was just kind of a training method to overcome all forms of obstacles in natural and urban environments, such as forests. Bell appeared in two kinds of films, movies that show him performing parkour for its own sake, and movies and commercials in which he appeared as an actor performing parkour. All the films have the kind of vaudeville and probability of a video game. He leaped gaps between rooftops that don't seem possible to cross, or he jumped from a rooftop to one which was so much lower that he gets smaller and smaller, descending like a spike about to be driven on the ground. Feeling terrified? Oh, you must. Since the 90s, this way of moving, popularized more by its inclusion in the film industry. If parkour has a shrine, it is climbing the wall in Lys, called Dame du Lac, where Belle played as a teenager. The wall was about 75 feet high, and the films I like best show him fearlessly racing up and down it as if it had stairs. All were so steeped in risk that there was none who could watch without anxiety. The parkour scene in Casino Royale was performed by a childhood friend of Bell's named Sebastian Foucan, who has developed a parallel and similar pursuit to parkour called freerunning. The films have inspired various sporting events in many countries and have created a new generation of tracteurs, parkour practitioners around the world. While the founders of parkour were not interested in competitions, this trend made them consider sporting events as a good showcase for raising awareness of the discipline around the world. After initiation workshops at the Lillehammer 2016 Youth Olympic Games, led by Charles Perrier, sparked increased interest in the discipline. David Bell and his friend Charles Perrier sought to obtain formal recognition of parkour to further its development. A connection was made with the FGI, a well-developed and established federation within the Olympic movement, whose president, Morinari Watanabe, is a great admirer of the discipline. The collaboration is a natural fit as many National Gymnastics Federation affiliated with FIG already offer parkour activities. Since the FIG Executive Committee gave the green light in February 2017 to develop a new sport, milestones have been reached at the speed of an athlete tackling an obstacle course. Parkour's development has opened the way for the very first World Cup series within the framework of the FISE, World Action Sports Festival in 2018. A young man who practices parkour is called a tresseur, whereas a woman is called a tresseuse. Parkour has no explicit glossary, but tresseurs typically describe the fundamental maneuvers as the cat leap, the precision jump, the roll, and the wall run. There is also the tic-tac, in which a nearly horizontal tresseur takes at least one step and sometimes several steps along a wall and launches himself from it, and the underbar in which the tracer or dives feet first through a gap between fence rails, like a letter going through a slot, then grabs the upper rail as his shoulder passes under it. The wish of any tresseur is to be sufficiently fluent so that he can cross any terrain in flight without compromise. Want to experience a thrilling adventure? Why not start with parkour and free running? Hope you enjoyed our video and it added some value to your thoughts. Do share your views and experiences in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then kindly do so and also hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.